I thought we could take a look at the September 2023 edition of Elle today with Zendaya on the cover. Zendaya serves a guide to fall fashion and it is photographed this whole fashion spread at the Ace Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. The historic Ace Hotel. And it's really quite something to look at as the Zendaya, but when I looked up the Ace Hotel in LA, and there are Ace Hotels at least all over the United States. I don't know about the, the whole world. But this particular hotel in Los Angeles is closing at the end of January because of uh, an inability to recover post-COVID. So that was interesting. I just thought, I loved the photos. And you will see them too. It's kind of sad, but this Louis Vuitton dress that Zendaya has on is the same dress that Emma Stone wore in the Louis Vuitton fall ads. And it is an embroidered mini dress with the cutouts and bead detailing. And it's $16,500. If you can find it, I don't know. It was seems like it was a popular dress. Zendaya is 27 years old. She was born in Oakland, California. And she was a shy theater kid. And she was a child star. And she has been involved in various projects. The latest being her movie Challengers, which is in post-production. It's about tennis. And she just performed live at Coachella. It, she's always pushing herself to the next level, out of her comfort zone. She was in Euphoria, as we all know. And the editor of the magazine was very much in awe of Zendaya's drive. The jewelry is by Bulgari. And we have Louboutin shoes, and they're about $800. It's a great photo shoot, but it's, well, we have one, one picture coming, or a couple, but it's pretty much towards the end of the magazine. It's wonderful. And here we have a Fendi ad. And this is a deconstructed Cape Effect vest. It's made of wool, and I found it all over the place. It was not hard. I don't think I found it on the Fendi site, but I found it on other sites. If you Google it, this is like a winter white. It was thirteen hundred dollars. I found it on sale at a lot of places for eight thirty. And then this is an ICU, ICU, I-S-E-E-U bag, not ICU like intensive care unit. And it's a woven pink mini. It is pink. It may not look it, but it's a very pale pink. I'm pretty sure anyway. And it's $1,700. I loved this blue, this baby blue, and a lot of the Fendi items from fall winter. This is a cashmere and a wool cardigan. And the neckline is a cutout motif with a double faced edge and the crosses in front of the neck. It is cashmere and wool. I don't 
$2,850. The black leather skirt. I think it's that one. $4,200. This Delfina with an F high heel boot with the cutouts is $4,600. It has they have gold heels and they are I believe in another outfit as we fold this out If you watch my Vogue and Elle videos, we're going back in history now at this point to a few months ago. So a lot of these ads we've seen before. So bear with me. This lace white dress is very pretty and it's $5,900. All of these are two-way bags. that one, but these are. If I'm wrong, let me know. We've seen this outfit in a lot of ads throughout the fall, and I love it. I think it's a beautiful uh, color, and I love the zipper. It's made of silk, and I found the top and the skirt, and then I found a dress when I looked the other day, and it looked like this, and it was $3,200, so I don't know if it was me looking it up wrong, but they do have a shirt like that, and I think it's that, and then she has this black leather jumper on, that's $5,000, and then she has that, those Delfina boots on again. I love how she has these boots on with that outfit. I just like how that looks. It's it's very clean and pretty. And if I'm wrong on anything, let me know. The fall items that we're looking at, or fall winter, because I don't even think the cruise collections had come out at this time of this publication. It's, it started to get very difficult to look things up because they're already moved on. The designers have moved on already now to fall, winter 2024. So here's Zendaya again, and look at that braid that she is sporting through most of the pictures. And this is that hotel's rooftop pool that will be closing, and it's kind of sad, but the Bulgari jewelry again, and the gown is Ralph Lauren. And they have that information here. $3,690, but I'm pretty sure I found it on sale $1,000 off for $2,600. It's flocked denim. That's what gives it that sheen. It's Ralph Lauren collection. Christian Louboutin shoes again. Oh. It's kind of fun to look at these pictures in LA, you know it's warm there. And here we are in January when I'm making this video in most of the United States, well, a lot of the United States is experiencing freezing temperatures. Here is a week Kravitz for Tiffany. Kind of ad that we're very familiar with if you look at the fashion magazines for the fall. 
But who could get sick of this, right? But that is a hardware collection necklace. And this one, except for the part that would go in the back of your neck, maybe under your hair if you have long hair, is just gold. But the rest, it's Pave Diamonds. So this is the granddaddy of that because they come in different variations. What does she have on here? The necklace is all Pave Diamonds, but the bracelet, see? Diamond, gold, diamond, gold. They also make them all gold, no diamonds. And the prices vary. This one, that's yellow gold. All diamonds like that from Tiffany and Company. If I'm right, it's a couple hundred thousand dollars. It's funny when you look these things up, though. There was probably one for $20 from Team U that I got offered. But I mean, this is Tiffany. You know it's going to be high. Right. The every other link bracelet. I can't find the every other link bracelet quickly. And this is all rose gold. Isn't it beautiful against her beautiful skin? But the every other link necklace. So it would be like that. But every other link gold is 78000 and then the one that's all gold with no diamonds is like $32,000. And she has just a stud on. These have been common ads, has, as has been this, with Gail Godot, the actress, for Tiffany T. There's one that I've never seen, though, coming. But when you go to their site... If you like to look at Tiffany things, maybe you buy Tiffany things. I don't know. They are always adding to these classic collections, the hardware, the Tiffany tea. They're always adding a little something, and you'll look, and it'll say new, and you'll know. None of this is particularly new because it's a few months old, but the Tiffany tea bangle, as it's shown, an 18 carat here, yellow gold, is $39,000. And I had a hard time, probably because of my own state of mind that day. I don't know. I got in too, in too much into my head about it, but this necklace is a combination of round and baguette diamonds. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I, I mean, I struggled with this one, and it's because it's a higher end thing that you you got to kind of really look for it. I think it's a couple hundred thousand dollars. Gail Godot studied dance early in life. And it reminded me of Mary Tyler Moore, which I have a, a vintage magazine with Mary Tyler Moore coming on the cover. It's always interesting for me to read about the people we see in movies and TV and fashion ads. Look at this beautiful face. Now, if I say this young man's name wrong, correct me. He's from BTS and his name is Park Jimin, J-I-M-I-N. Look at that skin. And he is a new ambassador for Tiffany. He's from South Korea. And when he was launched as the ambassador as an ambassador of Tiffany, I don't know what month, it holds out, that tweet holds out as the most liked tweet ever for Tiffany's. 
and it's a lovely shoot with that white background and he has on a white suit. So let's look at what he has on. It's always hard for me to tell the exact, in this case, bangle bracelet because they offer them in narrow and wide. In the case of this bracelet, it has to do with the number of millimeters wide that particular item is. I think this is a wide bracelet though. As opposed to narrow, I think it would look far smaller on his arm. So if this is a wide hinged bangle, like this, half diamonds, half gold, I believe it's $27,000. I think the full diamond ring is $7,800, and the smaller ring that's half and half is $2,500. I look forward to seeing more ads with this new man. Here we have Zendaya again, and I think she's in the bowl. I can't find it. I'm trying to do it very quickly. This is the Valentino dress that is in an ad with Kaya Gerber in it. We can't see the whole dress, but we recognize the top. It's a very pretty dress. It's short. So a Valentino dress, $3,900, and it is coming in an ad. And then the jewelry is by Bogari again. It says rings from $5,200. Tried to look up that pretty blue earring and I couldn't find it. Here we have Dior. Dior, Dior, Dior. J'adore. That beautiful gold bottle. This magazine smells wonderful. And this ad is partially responsible for this fact. It smells good. And I never flip these out because I get these magazines from the library. You might know that. It's a very sensual bottle. And then we have Charlize Theron. Chanel with Loli Bahia, B-A-H-I-A. -A. Her last name means dazzling beauty in Arabic, and she is a dazzling beauty. Her father was Spanish, but oh, her mother was from Algeria. She's 21 years old, and she was born in France. She played volleyball as a kid and studied trombone. I just thought that was interesting. But here we have the Camellia Rose on her boots. Does she? Yep. She has a brooch on. You could. Chanel has a lot of little accessories with the Camellia Rose there. Is it? I'm, I'm not going to say it's their trademark, but it's their signature flower. And it was chosen because of its simplicity, obviously, but also because of its vitality, I read. This particular rose is not afraid to bloom in winter. I thought that was an interesting little fact. And it's been so. It has been a, a, a staple of the line since 1913. So... I didn't find this dress. I did find the high boot with the rose. And then looking at this dress, I'm surprised I couldn't find it. It has the Chanel cuffs. 
these lace leggings are were a common fixture in that fall line. They look very pretty with the garments, but the boots are twenty eight hundred dollars. I I don't think I found that dress. I did find this. It's a very beautiful pearly gray in the background, almost silver looking. I guess it could be. They call it it fades. Here we have a tweed Chanel jacket. They're classic wool tweed. And this comes into play later in the magazine because Chanel has their tweed inspired high end jewelry that is crafted to look like wool tweed. Yep. Wool tweed word, tweed, T-W-E-E-D, comes from the river tweed in Scotland. We'll see a beautiful, beautiful cuff bracelet that, from Chanel later in the magazine. But this jacket, and then she has added a, a little pin there with the rose. This jacket is $5,900. The skirt... Printed silk tweed is fifty six hundred, and I couldn't find that little bag. Is that called a camera bag? It matches the jacket, and then she has on a pair of leggings and a pair of boots. It's very pretty. Here we have Dior. This is an older ad. I even have a thumbnail on one of my videos. That's these two models. I know who this was shot by. It was shot by Brigitte Niemeyer. I know that that's Anna Oliviera. I don't know who this model is. I'm sorry, somebody tell me. I don't know who the next two models are. But this is a beautiful layout with these luminous halos in the background and they all feature jewel tones so the blue on green the blue on red like a ruby that emerald green on the background of this with a sapphire blue and a beautiful crimson red I had such a hard time finding any of this, though. And I will refer you to my video that has this photo as the thumbnail. I don't, I think that probably, at least in the case of this coat and the dress, they, they're probably sold out. I couldn't even find the shoe. And that print with the map of Paris on it, I don't, can't remember what it's called, but they have a lot of items on the Dior site that have that, but I couldn't find an open-toed pump like that. But I, I'm recalling back to a few months ago when they came out with this campaign, and I knew that it was 1950s inspired like a lot of things are. Things were, I should say, back a few months ago. And this crinkled technical fabric was featured in not only that coat but this dress kind of like a um so they're making a nod to the 50s style but they're showing their modern modern nature by not i not it being completely pressed There is a basketball player from the WNBA coming up later in the magazine that has a bag like this. I could find some of these denim items. And they're, the separates are a few thousand dollars each. I couldn't find these pants, so I had a really hard time finding anything for Dior. But I invite you to look at the Dior site 
and you search for it. And I, I know that I probably could find things in more detail in my older videos. And here we have Vittoria Soretti for Gucci. Let me try to think of how many ads she's in in this magazine. At least three. This being one of them. Look at that face. Will she become Mrs. DiCaprio? I don't know. I don't know. So what do we have here? This skirt. I think that you can't buy it anymore. It was sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Every site I looked at. And it is pretty. You can also see selfies of people wearing this skirt. It's an embroidered silk skirt with these crystal appliques cut out and then satin beneath. I mean, how pretty is that? I couldn't even find the price. I think that it started off as it was just popular. And with that beautiful photo, how could it not be? And that green in the background, it, I guess it looks a little Christmassy, doesn't it? A little. This top, you can't find. She probably doesn't have anything on underneath it. It is sheer. It's a lightweight jersey top. And it is $800. So let's talk about what else is sold out from Gucci that you can't find. Well, maybe somebody bought them and is going to resell them. This purse is a, that horse bit feature with a chain. This is about $3,900. There it is, pictured there in a different, like the corner. You can find this in other colors, but you can't find it in the red. I think people saw this ad. The things sell themselves, and it is gone. You, I couldn't find it anywhere. These purses do come in other colors. A beautiful rose beige. That may, may not be for everybody. I mean, I love it, but I'm older. Might not be for you, for the younger people. And it comes in a green and a very pretty gray. Or you can wait and see if somebody will sell you a red one. Oh, but please, my, my darling, make sure that it, you're getting what you think it is, and it's real Gucci. These shoes have the horse bit detail, too. And they are a thong sandal. Did I find them in white? I don't remember. I didn't write it down. But these come in a very pretty silver and black. So we have Vittoria Soretti. This was photographed in Milan by David Sims. And I'm assuming those are her pretty feet. I'm assuming. This horse bit bag, this new version is a maxi version of a bag introduced in 2003 by Tom Ford. So this is kind of the, the larger version of that. I thought that was interesting. Here we have Victoria again. And that same green. I could not find this. I could find what I think are the glasses. Well, no, I didn't find the glasses. If you go to the Gucci site, the, you can find sunglasses between four and six hundred dollars. I had such a hard time with this, though. I, I think it's a dress. You can find scarves or stoles like that. I'm assuming that's ostrich feathers. 
in my searching for this, of course, I got sidetracked. And I will show you a picture pretty soon of the new Gucci store that they have opened in London. It is 15,000 square feet, and it is made to look like an atmospheric elegant home. There's a spa there too. Here we have Kaya Gerber for Celine. This campaign was the age of indiness, celebrating the vibrant spirit of the mid 2000s. The sunglasses, about $510. Soft lands, lamb skin jeans. I think they're called Kitty, $32.50. And I had a hard time finding this bag, but I think I found it. Triumph collection with their little emblem on it there, Celine. Pretty sure this is the newspaper chain bag. I could find a lot of bags, and you can go on Celine yourself and look, but I couldn't find any that had that chain with those grommets but I'm pretty sure I ended up finding it. So the newspaper triumph chain bag for $3,300 and then this chauffeur jacket for $39.50. They have a lot of cute things. I mean, I would never be able to afford it on Celine, but they have things for dogs. Probably not my dog either, who is a gigantic pit bull dog. But maybe if you have a little teeny tiny little chihuahua or something. They have a lot of dog accessories. So who is Celine? What is this company? I decided to look it up. She founded her company along with her husband, Richard. The last name is Vipiana. And they started as a luxury brand with made-to-measure children's shoes in the 1960s because they saw a gap. Well, they saw a need, I guess, right? Necessity is the mother of invention. Then they shifted to women's wear. All of these items are available somewhere on their site. I, I, I think that's the same leather jean, leather leather trouser. The fedora is definitely Celine. That one, the cute t-shirt, the bag. I was having trouble finding with certainty the items though to tell you how much they are exactly. And then I got sidetracked reading about Celine and how she built her luxury fashion business. Near Chanel tank francaise. And here is an up close detail of a portion of this watch, like Chanel has been doing in their ads. It's very cool. Look at that beautiful gold. This watch, as pictured, I think, if I found the right one. Is $32,800. These tank watches have been around since 1917 and then they make different versions of them. The inspiration is if you were looking at a military tank from above. With the two brand cards, B R A N C A R D, that are parallel. That was a new word on me. And there are different variations. This has a lot of diamonds. They have some that are just all gold. They're very pretty. And here we 
yeah, I loved this campaign. We'll be on to something new soon. This is Letitia Wright. From a lot of things, but she was in Black Panther. And this is Conversations with a Flower, that campaign. We will see this jacket soon. This way. We're going to see this jacket now because I actually found it. This is what it looks like from the front. This is the table of contents, but we're, we'll get to that. And that's what it looks like from the back. It's cotton and satin, and it's $5,600. The bag is a R-K, A-R-Q-U-E, I think. This is cognac colored. Uh, they have it in black. They have it in white. I'm looking on the computer. Different sizes. But I think this one is about $2,700. get the feeling this jacket might be sold out. There was another one I had a hard time looking up. And here we have Maya Jama is photographed by Stephen Meisel. For Dolce & Gabbana, I think it's only, yep, yeah, it's only two pages, but. It's a very sexy ad campaign, and we've seen it before. She is red nails, red lips, red hair, and I believe that this lounge, that you can just kind of even hear the squeak, squeak, squeak. I think that it's featured in every photograph of her, but what I could find of this Chantilly lace collection that she is wearing throughout a lot of it, it's on sale. I finally found this triangle cup bralette. It's very pretty. I don't know if she's planning on going out like this. She could. She could just throw a coat over it. But it was four hundred dollars, and now it's two fifty. I think I found it on the list. You couldn't find it at Dolce and Gabbana, at least I couldn't. And then a slip with she does have a panty on underneath, and the shoes. I couldn't find. I think that I have found this, but it always has a another skirt underneath it. But I invite you to go to their website and you look for yourself. I did find that for sure. She's so beautiful. It was a very beautiful campaign. And here we have Zendaya again. This was another little adventure in looking things up. Because this is Serpente. Serpente. And they too are always coming out with different variations of a classic. Classic style. This ad being that everything is in triplicate. Right? We've seen these bracelets. Sometimes it's a single, sometimes it's a double. No, it's a triple. As is this choker. Well, I call it a choker. And I'm looking at it. I can see the snake's head. And I know this is a high-end necklace. But I was very uh, confused, to say the least. Because I couldn't find one on their site like this, even in the high jewelry section. I could find a bracelet like this. And it was over three hundred thousand dollars. The the one strand necklace is, and I have a picture of it. That's one hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. So I I found a TikTok with somebody, I think handling this, but they never gave a price. I can only imagine how much it is. And Zendaya has on rings, and then this bracelet which is a viper bracelet. You have to look at the segments are different. 
on a lot of the bracelets, but that's what these look like in this bracelet. And I'm pretty sure I found that exact same one. It's about $70,000. And she looks beautiful with her brown outfit on. Mew, mew. There is a feature coming up in L. Speaking to literary influences in fashion. It's a good thing, right? We should all read more. And they mention the librarian type looks of the fall winter 2023 Mew Mew models. And here we have one here. She doesn't have any pants on, but she looks pretty. And you know what? She can pull it off. And it's very cute. These are embroidered silk and wool panties for winter, my darling. And it is $5,800. They are the cashmere tur turtleneck. Looks warm. Is $1,820. And look at that military green bag. And I do believe that that's what they're calling it. What's this bag? This is an R Arcadi, A R C A D I E. The green is sold out. They're about $3,000. They come in other colors, though. It's a really cute campaign. She has the same outfit on there. Here she comes walking towards us. And here she is standing right in front of us. And here we have Giorgio Armani. Malika Lubeck is the model. This beautiful jacket is a floral embroidered velvet single breasted jacket. And it is sold out. So I'd say a lot of the fall fashion items that were featured in ads, you, they're sold out. This was at Neiman Marcus for, I think, $5,500. But if you go on the Armani site, I almost said Dior. These flowy, beautiful skirts, these satin and silk trousers and skirt, you can find them in abundance. And the uh, jackets, too, but not that jacket. Doesn't she look pretty in the little beret? So a lot of out-of-stock things in our little few-month-old fashion adventure here. I loved this ad. Bottega Veneta. You can find this coat. This crocodile coat, you can find it at Saks Fifth Avenue. It is $13,000. This is just this page, right? Yeah. But this ad campaign I thought was so interesting because they searched out, and this looks like it's just the lobby of a building, but they searched out successfully, I feel, the unnoticed architectural architectural spaces that are in the backdrop of Italy's different locations. Look at the interesting paneling in contrast to the coat. And she has an, a woven bag there. We're going to talk more about the, the that interwoven leather. And some, they have a, another bag coming up. Here's that dress. This was also photographed by Stephen Meisel at a hotel that I can't think of the name of on Long Island. I've s said it before in, in other magazines. So where was uh, Zendaya wearing the? That's when she was in the pool, remember? Not that one. Not that one either. I'm getting it there. There's Zendaya. It's that. This is sold out. Or is it? I think. Might be wrong. The 
this dress is about $3,900 because we saw it before and they gave the price. I can't find it though. She has rock stud accessories, boots, and bag. Go on Valentino and see if you can find the dress. I couldn't. It looks very cool with the combat boots. Here we have Ferragamo with their camp, our very artistic campaign with these classic paintings in the background. And this is a nod to their Florentine heritage. This dress is definitely sold out. This draped jersey dress. If you search it on the internet, a lot of people bought it and are photographed in it. A lot of celebrities. It was $4,400. Drape jersey. I don't know if I said that. And then a hug handbag. Which are not sold out. They're about $3,500. It's pretty, isn't it? Very classic looking. This is an, also something that I don't think it's sold out. But a lot of people have taken selfies of themselves in this. It is a puff sleeve jumper. Made of wool and cashmere. And, oh, I, I wrote down $2,000. I'm going to assume that that's correct. Didn't find the little panty, though. And then I would wear leggings with it, depending on where you are. And this suede mule with the striped detail is eleven hundred. And we have two of the Omega and Swatch Omega and Swatch collection watches. So we have Omega, that's a pretty expensive brand, teaming up with Swatch. A not so expensive brand. Creating these really cool moon Swatch collections. Watch us. This one's Mission to the Moon, and that one is Mission to Jupiter. They are only available in selected Swatch stores. And I looked them up yesterday, and I'm pretty sure you can order them online, but I might be wrong. They're a few hundred dollars. I wrote down 300, but I don't know. And they have every planet. A different color. These two models are going to be in another ad together. And I think that Vittoria is on the left and Anakiai is on the right in the ad we're going to see coming up in a few. This is Michael Kors' collection. I loved this campaign. They photographed it, obviously, on the streets of New York City. Two friends going out for a night on the town. They're usually holding hands. And I just think it's lovely. The contrast of the colors of the clothing, the contrast of the colors of their skin. It's very unifying and, well, I mean, look at them. How could it not be pretty, right? So, the clothing. These are both skirts, obviously. You can see the top. But eventually, so it's covered to about there, right? To about the top of your hips. And then... It, oh, I had to get up. Anak Yai was born in Egypt. She was born in Cairo. But she moved to New Hampshire at age three. And her mom was a nurse. And her dad worked for Easter sales. But I want to learn more about her for another video. Oh, she became a supermodel. I'm going to find out. 
Let's get back to these skirts. They're made of wool. They're $516. And these two can pull it off, but they remind me of um, the things at the car wash. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to be honest. I mean, these two look good. I have every confidence that they are going to march through New York City and take the city by storm, but it just reminds me of the car wash thing. Anyway, the boots are black, and this one's called Slate. That's what they're calling this collar, and they are $1,200. Max Mara. This is what I want here. The teddy bear coat, and they make all different sizes. Well... Like, they make some variations of teddy bear coats. Max Mara does. This one is alpaca, alpaca and cashmere. They have a couple of their belts here. Corset belts, maybe. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they also have these on their site that are made of flannel. We've seen this exact ad before with all of the caramel and chocolate brown colors that they had for fall. And I'm here to tell you that if you buy Max Mara Fashion, not Fashion, not Fashion, when I went on their site, they were having a huge sale of this fall and winter 2023 stuff that the outfits we're looking at. 30% off outerwear and then 50% off selected garments. And they had some good stuff. Pages and pages and pages. I love that suit with uh, the um, brown and black. Same model, both pages. Mm, so I'm not happy for. Check out their site. Maybe you can find some of those things for a good price. This is the toy. T O Y. Dorsay. O R S A Y and crushed velvet. The way they are. It's fifteen hundred dollars. Here it is on Taylor Russell's foot. There's Taylor Russell. They are sold out. They originally were sold for $1,500. And she has a spools bag. There. With a chain. really know what size that is, but they're about $4,000. You can buy them at Saks Fifth Avenue. You can buy them at right on the Loewe site. The one that came up for me, though, is at Saks. Here's a little behind-the-scenes shot of the Zendaya photo shoot coming up. We'll see a larger photo of that coat that she is on the editor's letter and here we have Raquel Zimmerman for Hermes she's 40 years old and she is from Brazil We've seen this ad before. Astonishing orange. But they have a green tile backdrop and then her green scarf over a green cape and the black leather pants all from her mouth. Astonishing orange again. Oh, 
first bit of detail on the back. I get no luck, luck looking at the clothing. I think with Hermes, that's a lot of the time the point, though. I don't know. All right, let's talk about the bag. It's a Birkin bag. Which is, you know, you can look them up and you can find a lot of them in a lot of different colors. But not many have that little pocket on. That caught my eye. Like, oh, what is that? I don't know much about Birkin. I don't know anything about Birkin bags, except that they're a lot of money. This one stood out, though, with that pocket. And then she's got a beautiful Hermes scarf tied to it. But I'm pretty sure these are called cargo Birkins. It's, it's large. And they're about $35,000. And she's got... I think she's looking for that horse. He's gone and escaped. She's got to go get him. I could find these pants. Well, I but it wouldn't let me click on to see how much they were. It's almost like they don't want me to know. They know I don't have any money. I could find this, though. I don't know who the model is, but she's beautiful. Isabel Morant. A French designer. And this is the Oskan O S K A N Moon Leather Shoulder Bag for about fifty six hundred dollars. And this is in silver. So one whole white page with the designer's name, and then a white page with a model in a black dress and the silver bag. And that silver bag really stands out, doesn't it? Here we have the Givenchy, which was a, an answer to a Jeopardy question the other day when we sat down to watch Jeopardy, which is my one of my family's habits. I can't remember the exact question, but I didn't know it. It had something to do with uh, Audrey Hepburn. And I think it was, um, you know, who designed the little black dress from... Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1961. Which designer? I'm pretty sure that was the question. And ironically, this campaign from Fall and Winter was a nod to the 1950s and the 1960s. And this whole outfit, I think apart from the shoes, was worn by Elle Fanning at ceremony. I don't know where she was. So we have a silk blouse with this long lavalier. And it's on sale. Right now. Uh, was it a Givenchy? I think. It's about a thousand dollars. And this is a warm mohair skirt. It's long and it looks warm. For sixteen hundred dollars. And we have these green satin show pumps. They are on sale too. They were $1,000 and they are 600 now. She's sitting on a piece of wood. And again, we have one whole page of just the backdrop. This is Carolina Spakowski as photographed by Haiji Shen. If you look up that whole outfit, you'll see Al Fanning and it and then a lot of people have bought the whole outfit, too. It was a... I'm surprised it's not sold out. They must have made a lot of it. I want these. She's got on... Does she have on four? One, two, three, three. They've got a fun site, Swarovski. And this is part of the Idelia collection, I-D-Y-L-L. -L. This is the pineapple cocktail ring. If you go on their site, you can find all the different items. But this is sold out. Out of stock. I couldn't find it. Who 
Here we have Sydney Sweeney for Giorgio Armani Foundation. I don't think she needs any foundation. I've seen this ad before and I probably said the exact same thing. I don't know how old she is, but I'm sure she doesn't need one little drop of makeup. So she wears Luminous Silk Foundation shade number three and concealer shade 3.75. She's young. She might have a little, a little pimple or two, right? So here's Kaya Gerber's mom, Cindy Crawford. I don't know if we've seen this particular ad, but she's in collaboration. This, these bags can be purchased at mcmworldwide.com. They are out of LA. This is a nod to when she partnered with them in the '90s. And it's a resurgence of that campaign. Not sure we've seen that particular ad, but we've seen that ad a lot. Here we have Nina's edit. The editor in chief, Nina Garcia, shows us some of her favorite things. And we have some doozies. This is becoming one of my favorite parts of L. Because I I'm astonished at some of the items that they find. I'm going to show you a picture in a minute of this from the Louis Vuitton site. This is the Cabinet of Curiosities by Mr. Mark Newsom. It is a Louis Vuitton trunk, and they have made it into a cabinet. It's over $200,000. You can look at it on Louis Vuitton site. We have Gucci Blue, $165. This necklace is by Selim Mouzanar. And it's $31,000. I love this coat. It's a coat dress by Blaze Milano for $2,786. This dress is by Victoria Beckham. And again, it's about the same price as that. They're both up 2700 something dollars. Isn't that pretty? Paper mache Hermes medallions. No price. Tiger Nautilus. Little uh, knickknack, maybe? From creelandgow.com, $900. These pumps are by Piferi at Neiman Marcus, $580. This clutch, ooh, look at that. Schiaparelli in Paris, $5,400. Look at the eyes. Point pendant. Yes, I looked this up. I think it's Greek. It's a Greek coin pendant. And they, it's $10,000. Number 11 is the fountain pen by Mont Blanc. It's almost 1100 This charger plate is by Genoi. It's $240. It's very pretty. And what are these? Earrings. Ooh. Nice for Christmas. These are at Bergdorf Goodman. No price. Sylvia Fernanovic. Here we have Chloe Ad. This is the, the L. Chloe Exalt. Nice big black bag. Made of blue leather. And I'm pretty sure it's $3,200. That's you know, the biggest one I could find. It's huge, isn't it? It looks nice against her white dress there. And here we have the Let's Dream a Little, a Let's Dream a Little ad. 
which no matter. This is amazing. See how fires in it? There's a plane going over my house. You can see them in a lot of diamonds. Couldn't find the rings. There it is on a model in the black and white dress. I found this though, not on their site, because these companies tend not to put the prices of the high-end stuff on here on their sites. They want you to call a concierge Mosaico. I don't know if I said that already. I did find it though. I don't remember what site it was like some site for rich people to go to and buy expensive stuff and the price was $630,000. The site was you could find it too. Here's Georgina Rodriguez for guests. We've seen this yet before. She seems like she is at a hotel in various stages of things you do at the hotel, waiting on the fancy little seat here in a circle, like you might see at a fancy hotel, getting ready for a night out. I've looked these other things up in some of my fall magazines, if you want to look back on those. I've looked, I know those two outfits up. I love that. I would never be able to wear it. Because I will tell you something, if I haven't, I'm sure this is fake fur. I have on a coat, I have a coat. It's Calvin Klein. We bought it at an estate sale. And it has fake black fur at the cuffs and I walk two different dogs and if I have anything that has fake fur on it that especially that Calvin Klein coat the one dog my son's dog he attacks me just wouldn't it wouldn't end well so I've done those other two outfits before if you go on the guest site they are having a huge sale. And I'm getting some more with this. I've never seen these two dresses before. I think that this was probably leading up to the holiday season because we see a green dress with this lovely green backdrop. And then red, a crimson red. And a lovely crimson red backdrop. It just looks Christmassy to me. But this dress is on sale. It's the Foxy Satin Dress, and it's $330. It was, and now it's $165. If you go on the guest site, you can find probably everything in these ads on sale, except this. Now see, I'm lying. And the color of that was kamikaze. I don't know if I said that. I thought that was very interesting. As a person that I was, I was in my twenties in the nineteen eighties. The kamikaze was a popular drink, and it was that color. Is that even still a thing? I don't know. But anyway, oh look at her shoes too. This is the Evita feather bandage dress. They're calling this color Vino for wine. It also comes in black. It's available. But this is one of the fall things that they felt that they didn't need to mark down. And it's it's still a good bargain, though. It's very pretty. If you have a fancy winter outing to go to for $330, I mean, I would wear a big coat with it. If you wear it this cold, but it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So Georgina Venerciano. Here we have that Prada coat. 
again. She is on a panty by cup. C-U-U-P. We will see more of that coming. $20. This is Acris. This is a wool crepe in a zigzag trapezoid print. $15.90 for the top. $19.90 for the skirt. And the little Anna Hobo bag is a couple thousand dollars. This is a little sneak preview of a photo shoot that's coming. All of this is by Gucci, it seems like. Except the necklace. Necklaces. The clothes are by Gucci. And here we have Van Cleef and Arpel's Zodiac. These both happen to be Virgo. Which is a common Zodiac sign. Because I think that the most common... I don't know if the word common is the correct word to say. But the most shared birthday... At least for people my age, like in their 50s, is, I think, September of 13th. And it has to do with New Year's Eve, right? A lot of celebrating going, a lot of conception occurring at the New Year. I don't know if it's still true, but these are Virgo. And the small one, and these are just for the pendants is $2,400, which is pretty uh, inexpensive for Van Cleef and our pals because a lot of the stuff we look at is the high-end stuff, but this is $22,000 with that um, so this is malachite, rose gold, yellow gold, and malachite with the different figures. And if you go on their site, you can see all the different zodiacs and all the different colors they chose. And that's a beautiful midnight blue backdrop. That's the list of the contributors to the magazine. And Raquel Zimmerman again for Laurel Piano. They have a cardigan I thought it was this one, but it's not. Pretty sure this is the Yamba cardigan in pearl cream for $2,800. But they have a cardigan that's called the Cocoon cardigan. And they have only the finest woolen cashmere that they create their clothing with. And I want it. So this is the Bottega Veneta Egg Bag. I wrote this down. I meant to cut it out, but I never did. That's the leather technique that they use. They did not only use it in this bag, they're well known for it. So, in Trecchiato technique, it's a woven leather. And if you go on their site, they've created... They're not bags, they're not... They're not clothing. They're just like little pieces of art. There's one that's a dinosaur, and there's one that's a snake, and they might have a whole bunch of other things, for all I know. But this bag, it's cool. Obviously, this is black. They also have one that's called Glacier, and these are $4,500. But they're all made with that woven leather technique that they are well known for. And here we have Vanessa Kirby. I'm going to say she's from The Crown, but I might be wrong. I get the those shows mixed up. But I'm pretty sure she's from The Crown. And then more recently, she was Josephine and Napoleon, which my younger son wanted to see. We'll have to watch it at home. I had the feeling if we went to see it at the show that my husband and I, we wouldn't make it through. We would be zonked out sleeping. But this is La Panthera. We're going to see a beautiful Cartier Panther piece of jewelry coming up. We'll just wait till you see it. But this is their perfume. She was born in Wimbledon. 
And look at her posture. She's got great posture. Now here's somebody my age, I believe. Pamela Anderson and I are about the same age. I wonder if she has to dye her hair. She might not. But she is promoting Pandora's Lab Grown Diamonds. We all know Pandora, right? We all know their charms and their charm bracelets. Pamela Anderson is not the only, well, let's say, celebrity. There are, there are a bunch of other people that are going to be in these ads. So say yes to myself. It's recycled gold. It's recycled silver. And then these lab-grown diamonds. The bangle, as shown here, is about $1,500. And she has stacked rings. She's got several different rings on. A lot of bangles. She looks wonderful. Isn't it great that she has found success uh, after whatever she uh, went through as a young person? She um, has been on Broadway. Her kids seem like she's doing great. I just think it's such a wonderful success story. And the rings are about $500 to $2,000. If you're interested in a lab-grown diamond, check it out. And this is everyday jewelry. I'm not saying it's not expensive. It is. But... It can be stuff that you could wear and not have to be too worried about. Like maybe this would be. This is the Chanel Tweed Etoile Cuff. Star Etoile. I think I'm saying it right. So it's inspired by the most iconic textile of the house, Tweed. So this was Gabrielle Chanel's first and only high jewelry collection. And it's quite something. And I could find it all over the internet. Can't find a price, though. I can only imagine how much it is. I wonder if you can even buy it. So we talked about the word tweed and how it came from the Tweed River. Well, this is gems grouped together to kind of look like Chanel tweed. Onyx, lapis lazuli, diamonds, and then yellow sapphire. That sapphire in the middle is 9.16 carat. What do you think? Who's brave enough to call Chanel? There's the read under number and say, I'm interested in the... Uh, a toile cuff bracelet. How much is it? Let's talk here. Here we have Chloe Kim. B. Here she is on her snowboard. And that is her Breitling watch that she wears, I think. Oh, it might not be. This watch, as pictured, and it's pretty, isn't it? About $10,000. You can also switch out the bands and get a crocodile band if you want. Or So Chloe Kim is a two-time Winter Games gold medalist and a member of the All-Star Squad. And she is a Breitling ambassador. was a new arrival back then, back in September. So this is Saint Laurent. It's patent leather, stiletto sling back. $1,090. Very nice. What do we have coming up with De Beers? De Beers has a brooch coming up in a fancy jewelry section of this magazine. And I didn't bother looking up any of these rings because, but I can imagine what they'd look like on my hand. I have, I have a wedding ring. It's not a diamond. 
I have a goal band. And I've been married for 35 years, so the gold band worked just fine. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn my back on a De Beers diamond, but I had a, I've had a long marriage without one, but they're pretty, aren't they? I did not bother looking them up because we all know with diamonds, especially solitaire engagement rings like this. They're going to vary in the size of the diamond and the grade. I think maybe is the right word. I don't know. Here's Bruno Cuccinelli ad. They're having a big sale. And they're, it's expensive. This is a high-end brand. So let's just say if something was over $5,000, which probably all of this was, it's now two or $3,000. But check it out. All of their fall and winter, well, maybe not everything, but I was surprised because some of the high-end stuff never, you don't click on their site and it, it you don't get, you know, some offer right away on your phone. It, it just, it's that much and they don't give a sale. I was surprised. And then I want this. This is Van Cleef and Arpels. This is Tour de Force. And we're going to see a whole article about this necklace. That's okay though, for a minute though. If you go on their site and you go to high jewelry and you go to tour de force, it will take you through several cities. I don't think any of them are in the United States. I think they're all in Europe, London and Paris. And I don't know this though is Rome. This is emeralds, sapphire, diamonds, and then all three golds, rose, yellow, and white gold. And this is the Piazza Divina necklace. Oh my goodness. Let me read about its inspiration for the whole collection. So this is the president and CEO, Nicholas Boss. The collection is like a colorful sketchbook that invites us to dive into destinations and gemstones. And it's quite something if you want to look at it. The grand tour, you have to call them for the prices. So crafted to do this necklace. This is a 13.09 carat Egyptian emerald. I can only imagine how much it is. Um, I would say it. I would say it'd be easily a million dollars, but that's just me. What do you think? Here is Rebecca Longendike for Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo. And she's crossing this street, Avenue Montaigne. This is going to come up pretty soon in the magazine. At a, um, this street's going to come up again. Let's just put it that way. So she's crossing the street, and there is a Jimmy Choo store front on this street. She is wearing a black CC boot, studded. And the black version of a diamond crossbody bag. I've seen this ad before. And you can go to Chippy Chew and look up the prices. I didn't. I have before in another magazine. And what do we have here? A camellia rose. This time. On a bag. A Chanel flat bag in a sleek patent leather. 
So this is detail-oriented accessories. And this is $5,900, this, this bag at Chanel. This is an ad. Uh, this is long past because it was in September. Moschino was celebrating 40 years of love, 40 years of fashion. And they had a fashion show, a collaboration in a show in September, towards the end of September. That was an ad promoting that. But look at that bag. Look at the shape. This is by Ferragamo. Black bag with a red handle. That's $4,500. This handbag is Louis Vuitton. I don't know why they did this, but I think we have several pages of bags. Why do they have the price on some of them? On some of the pages? But some of them, you have to flip to the buyer's guide in the back. Is there a reason? Because they do get the price. It's just in the back. And I could have looked it up, and I would have either found this or not. But this, well, it's quite something, isn't it? It's Louis Vuitton, and it's $10,200. We've seen this ad before. Tom Ford Eyewear. Pretty sure that this is the Whitney Butterfly, I think. Frame, titanium, $1,500. wrong. There's always a good chance I'm going to be wrong. Look at this. Again, I, I would never be able to have something like this, and it would be because of dogs tearing it up. This is by Hermes. That blue backdrop and then the red bag. It's lovely. This is $11,700. I wonder if it's horse hair. It would get torn up for sure, no matter what it is. I can guarantee it. Here we have Victoria and Anouk again. This time for Chanel Foundation. All day elegance. And look at their skin. Oh, goodness gracious. This Chanel ad, I never really get it. I've seen it before. It's far thicker paper than the rest of the magazine. I don't, don't dare tear this off because I'm not the owner of this magazine. I mean, it's not a coupon, right? It's Chanel. But what's the point? Just to make it stand out, I think. Yep. So remember when I was talking about the Chanel Panther? No, I'm sorry, not... I get Cartier and Chanel mixed up. The Cartier Panther. Look at him. All of this... These are all brooches, and they are all from the high-end jewelry companies. You will see. We'll go through them, and if you want to look them up, go ahead. They're all by appointment at boutiques, and I want all of them. Yes, okay, I want all of them. Here's the Cartier with a Black Panther, Chopard. I could find these feather brooches, but they have a um, sapphire at the end. This is diamond and titanium. That's from the red carpet collection, which you can get go on their site and look at, but I couldn't find it. So the Panther is an Enchantress Black Nephrite Jade, White Gold, Rubellite and a diamonds. He's laying on diamonds. This is Van Cleef and Art Powell's white gold coral and a diamond clip. Nikos Koulis, diamond, emerald, and a silver pearl. And look at this. Pad Paracha Sapphire. I should have looked that up. Rubellite and diamond brooch. It's a fish. It's so beautiful. This is the Beavers. Ascending Shadows Titanium and Diamond Brooch. Brooch. 
I can't decide which one I like the best. A Tale of Two Shoes. Manolo Blahnik. And here we have like the uh, hands that artists use to sketch. They can put the fingers in different positions. I would think that they're probably made of wood, but we have a white one and a black one and white and black shoes. This is latexa, so latex with an A at the end. I don't know if I'm saying it right. This one must not have uh, been a big seller. It is a satin embellished buckle pump. It was $13.45. It's now on sale for $800. This whole collection in the fall was uh, inspired by Marlena Daedric. And she will come up later in the magazine. This shoe, however, is Bimix. B-I-M-I-X. I think it was for. $1,500, but this one sold out. You can't find that one anywhere. So that's our tale of two shoes. They marked that one down and you can't find that one. Here's our story about how literature became fashion's main character. This is from Sandy Leon's fall 2023 show. So let's look at how the literary world has influenced fashion. This is from Miu Miu. Remember we saw their ad, very librarian looking clothing and a lot of the times the models have on spectacles. This is Valentino Men's Spring 2024 and there is a quote from a book by Hanya. I'm going to really butcher this, but Yana Glaharas, a little life. We are so old, we have become young again. This is a Bottega Veneta tote with the classic Strand bookstore logo on it. An invitation to a Chanel rendezvous event. Looks like a book. And then here's Kaya Gerber carrying a book. There was a good quote in here. What was this day? What was day? Do, do, do. I gotta look up. Novelist Claudia Day. I wanna make sure. It says, we need books. I think we have sickened ourselves with the endless death scroll. To correct the imbalance, we want something that our minds must conjure. It's food for thought. Here we have Alexander Vautier. He is uh, 52 years old from a, a France-based design, a French-based designer. Isn't that a cute dress? And then she's got on tennis shoes. What's this cute little dress? It's a velvet mini dress with a little ruffled bottom. I call those polka dots, but I don't know. I don't know. Are they still called polka dots? Photographed by Mario Sorrente. I love it. $2,700. If you go on his site, it's all in French. I could kind of figure out my, my way through it, but I found the dress on another site. Well, I always say this word wrong. I never will again. Kate the Great, and here's Catherine Holstein. Kate, the name of her fashion line, is a play on her nickname, even though her name is Catherine with a C. And this is a wonderful feature on her. And I encourage you to get the September 2023 issue of Elle so you can read the whole thing. Either get it digitally or a copy of it, maybe off eBay. She won an award. She won the CFDA American Women's Wear Designer of the Year Award recently. And she talks to, she talks about uh, her, her 
career as a fashion designer. It's very interesting. And she worked for Vera Wang and Gap. She talks about some of her successes and failures. Here we have Dunian Burke out of Norwalk, Connecticut. Dear Babes and a Few Hundred Dollars. Quality doggy goods since 1975. Here is Kate's store. store. There is an indoor tree there. Her husband is an architect and he designed the store. She has achieved the rare hat trick in fashion. She's critically acclaimed, beloved by street style stars, and she's also beloved by internet shattering celebrities. And she, her items command wait lists. This is a boot, even though the picture's blurry, from her 2023 fall collection. She also talks about her love of New York City. I love New York more every day. It's a city of extremes, beautiful and brutal and beautiful. I think I made kind of a made up word, brutal. And that is true, isn't it? Here's an ad for H and M. Sensibly priced fashion. These two are looking pretty fashionable. Sleeveless tie neck blouse, $26.99. This was autumn winter 2023. Here's L Eyewear. The sunglasses collection. I looked those up before. I think they were very reasonably priced. A couple hundred dollars. They talk about the circle skirt, a 1950s staple, and it's all over the place. Isn't that pretty? That's Carolina Carolina Herrera, fall 2023. This is Jenny Walton wearing Prada at Milan Fashion Week. And when we turn the page, we will see some of the different offerings from the different designers. I love the color. Jenny Walton was inspired by watching with this full skirt, the full circle skirt, by watching Roman Holiday with Audrey Hepburn. Here are all the different designers with these wonderful circle skirts. Bottega Veneta, Prada, and Richard Quinn. Isn't that This was a good little piece of advice if you are inclined to wear a circle skirt. You gotta kind of make it modern. Ms. Walton recommends steering clear of anything that might make you look too costumey, costumey, like If you're in a community theater production of Greece, like don't look like that. They've mixed a lot of these with t-shirts. Um, if you wear the skirt with a 1950s beaded cardigan, you start looking like you're going to get a milkshake. This look can be turned on its head, just like stilettos could be, I can't walk, I need a man, or down on your knees, you worthless CEO, I'm in charge. These, this, I, I've never seen these before. Melissa Shoes, shopmelissa.com. If you are a certain age and you know these jelly shoes, they're back and you can buy them and they're not that expensive. I'm not saying they're cheap. I think this pair, I think they're $70. And they come in all different colors. They have higher priced shoes. They have platforms, but I didn't see anything on the site that was over a couple hundred dollars. They don't know how comfortable they are. And they're vegan. Blank slate. You can never go wrong with classic knits, which make an ideal canvas 
for this season's most covetable extras. This is all Jill Sander Resort 2024, which you can still find on that site. I couldn't find any of these items, though. You can find Cruise or Resort 2024, but I had no luck, especially finding that big bag. Here we have Emma Mackey for Burberry Goddess. New fragrance. And this is available at Macy's, Sephora, and Ulta. It's refillable. Very pretty bottle. And it smells wonderful. They have extra. They have the Skechers Uno. And an ad for Atlantis Paradise Islands in the Bahamas. Wouldn't that be nice about now? For, this, for those of us who are frozen throughout the country, it won't last forever. Here we have some shopping. Philippa K. Sweater, 510. Kate Spade, Spade New York Handbag, 528. H&M Turtleneck, $50. Knee High Socks by Com C, $60. Jacquemus Shorts, $144. This Louis Vuitton brooch, $1,600. Los Angeles Apparel, Brata. 76 cashmere and love brief 265 Lueve scarf 350 Stuart Weitzman pump 475 Lueve glasses 430 eras brief 235 and one's out sport max top 395 a Louis V brooch. Oh, it has a pretty for 350 and a guest scarf for $59. This is Miu Miu. They don't give the price. Look at those little briefs are so cute. And then we have our librarian look again, don't we? I think she needs to put some pants on if she's going to the library. So here, this is Prada. Look at that skirt. This all has definite 50s vibe to it, doesn't it? So, the sock ankle boot, Roger Vivier. This is a, it was made to look like a sock and a shoe, but it's a boot. $1,600. A Zankoff cardigan for $312. What do we got here? That's at MCM Worldwide, and that's a pup doll. $590. This skirt is by Simone Wolkoff. No price. It's probably expensive. And the jacket is by Coach at $700. Wales Bonner Polo Sweater, $900. This brooch by Anne. I'll never be able to say her name. $645. Lip Lock Maximizing Lip Syrup Serum. Not syrup. $38 is Amaya.com, a Michael Kors shoulder bag for $325. Mew Mew Sling Back. Now, see, this shoe was probably on that young lady in that ad, but in black. At least that shoe looked like it for $1,270. Undercover skirt. Undercoverism.com. That's $1,000. And a Kate sweater for sixteen eighty. That skirt is very pretty. Let's see how they mixed it with a blazer. I guess if you mixed some of these fifties looking skirts with the wrong thing, you would definitely be looking like you were ready for the community production of Greece, which would be good, and I would go. I'd be there. I'd be all for it. This is the revamped Dior Spa at Paris's Hotel Plaza Athene. It turns 110 years old, and Dior always made a point to photograph a model in front of that hotel because he knew that he knew who was staying there. He was no dummy. He knew that there were Vanderbilts staying there and Rockefellers and Kennedys, and he would see the fashion. And Yves Saint Laurent liked to bring his dog there too, to eat lunch. Here's the courtyard 
with the red awnings. And here's a couple of photos inside the restaurant. And here's the revamped spa, if you were to go. They also men mentioned Marlena Daytrick that she bought an apartment across the street from it after she broke up with her boyfriend. The assembly, you're invited to be part of an exclusive community composed of the active readers of Al's Harper's Bazaar Town and Country and Esquire, if you were to so desire. It's an ad for Cicely Paris Suprema at Night. It's a serum. You can buy it at the high-end stores. Goodman, Lehman Marcus, Bloomingdale, Saks. And here is the metal moment, our new, our favorite new beauty releases for the season, meaning all sorts of precious metals. A handbag palette. Who is it from? And the mascara, Paco Rabanne. Well, what, it's Rabanne Beauty. It's Paco Rabanne, but they're calling it Rabanne Beauty. It's not incredibly expensive. That palette is $38. The mascara is $25. Has anybody tried it? Let's look at some more of the beauty items. Looking for number one. Is this it? Yep. Tom Ford Beauty Shade and Illuminate Radiance Enhancer. It's a concealer with hyaluronic acid. It's a hundred dollars. Arquiste Lore. I'll never be able to say it. De Louis Eau de Parfum. Two hundred and twenty. They they're a flex of twenty four karat gold. Inside this fragrance fragrance and it's inspired by Louis the Fourteenth's beloved orange trees. Here's that Sibley Paris again. Ginkgo Gua Sha Massage Tool for $160. Oh, look at that Lancome palette. I wouldn't even want to use it. It's so pretty. It's $89. Dior Prestige Le Nectar Premier, $650. It's a serum. It's a lot of money, huh? Fluff Lip Oil, that's not a lot, it's $30. It's allfluff.com, a newish Australian beauty brand. Here's Chanel. It doesn't give a price. No, it does, $450. Sublimage La Creme Texture Universelle. It comes with, this is a refillable aluminum packaging. It's very pretty. And then they have a Ranavat Kanza comb. What is it made of? It's made of Kanza, which is a sacred Ayurvedic material that's naturally antimicrobial. <laughs> I'm really stumbling on the words. Here we have a whole page filled with the Rising Stars of Hollywood that was at an event in May. And Elle and Polo hosted event. If you get this magazine, this is a good article too. And I'll just skim it. Bobby Brown is back. Bobby Brown is in her 60s now. There's, she's putting makeup on Carla Bruni. Look how pretty she is. And she has created Jones Road Makeup. Now, in 1995, she sold her company, Bobby Brown, to Estee Lauder. But she continued to run it. Over time, they were not agreeing on whatever as business goes on. They were seeing things differently. So she left in the in 2016 and she went and she 
did her own thing. She was a health coach and she started a wellness line. But she had a non-compete and she could not do anything cosmetic-wise till it ran out. And it did. She's 66 years old and she has now created these new cosmetics. What is her site? Jones Road Beauty. The clean, no makeup, makeup. She talks a lot in there about being a woman of 66. You know, having a moment of reflection, like, wait a minute, you know. Am I doing the right thing here? You know, maybe I should just go retire. It's interesting. She doesn't, though. Here's one of my favorite ads. I love this girl's hair. I always say that every magazine. My secret to, oh yeah, fresh. I think she's so cute. And she's on the TV commercial too, and I see it all the time. Because I will admit something. My husband and I, my husband comes home from work every day. I work at home. And we sit and we watch Jen and the hospital together. We've done it for a long, long time. We eat our dinner. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the time that commercial runs during that. But anyway, runway to Elway. Beauty editor, editor Marco shares the fall's biggest beauty trends and how to get the looks. A polished punk look? What is she using here? The Huda Beauty Creamy Coal Longwear Eye Pencil. It's $21. H-U-D-A beauty.com. What do you think? I like it. This is Fenty Red Lipstick. And it's 20 something, yep, yeah, $20. Center matte, refillable lipstick. So many things are refillable. And then these gleamy little, well, what are they called? They're calling them chrome flakes in Firefly. How do you get them? Vanessa? Myrix Infinite Chrome. They're $25. Isn't that pretty? Here's another interesting article if you get the magazine. I'm just going to skim it. I don't keep up with, uh, I don't have Instagram. I, I often think to myself, I'm glad that I'm of an age where I wasn't a young woman with all of the stuff that's on Instagram and the the the, um, the shots of people's houses or what they have, their cars, because I would be I would have been very um, sad. I'm just gonna say it. I'm in my fifties. Uh, life's hard enough. Where you know, and you try not to compare yourself to people I know I don't you get that with age you get you get to not care and it's it's wonderful but for younger people women men whoever whatever gender you are it's hard not to say well you know this person has this this I don't have that kind of car but this talks about this lady Anne Elle asked her to live like a stay-at-home girlfriend for a week. I guess this is a trend on Instagram. And, of course, the stay-at-home girlfriend that she was watching as a template for this life, they, the people have a lot of money, which, let's face it, most of us don't. And really, if you have a lot of money, you should probably be saving your money and not flaunting it. But... She tries some, this uh, a trend to be this uh, stay-at-home girlfriend and just be, I guess, live life maybe in service to your partner. And that's where this trad wife comes in, which, does that mean traditional wife? I, I kind of got lost in this. I, um, I don't have daughters. I have sons. 
but I always reflect whenever I see anything trending with young people about what my, my adult children might be seeing in themselves in it and hoping they're not taking it too seriously because a lot of what we see on the internet is fake or it's it, you might think it's some lady doing something but she might have a whole company trying to promote something behind it you don't know and if you're going to be it, it get the magazine and read it a stay at uh, what is she? A stay at home girlfriend to a rich guy. There's a big difference between being a girlfriend and a wife, unless you have legal papers saying I'm going to be a girlfriend. You know, but I get this because things happen, uh, accidents happen. Sometimes bankruptcies happen, and then what happens to you? You know, are you saving money? I don't know. I, I could go on about this forever, and I don't even really know what I'm talking about. Because this is entering a realm where I'm not going to really pay any attention to it. And as I'm reading about traditional wife, I'm realizing I was probably a traditional wife. I've been married for a long time. I probably... I, I I take care of my husband. I'm of a different generation and of maybe an average L, L reader who may be a, a younger woman than me, but it's just something that we've done, you know? I guess I am very much, I cook for my husband every day. I do his laundry, but it wasn't because of a an Instagram trend. And I could not do it. He would cook for himself. Money in the bank. The, these are the Las Vegas aces. And this is an interesting article because it speaks to where I live in Detroit and how the WMBA has evolved. One of these lovely ladies, or at least one of the ladies featured in the article, talks about in the 90s when... The WNBA first started, and they shared the facility with the Detroit Pistons, our NBA team, and how they were made to feel like second-class citizens. When the men were around, they were to take the back seat. And my how things have evolved. The WNBA is 27 years old. Somebody has a, yeah, there's a Dior bag. So this features the um, Las Vegas Aces and how they've they've pumped, Vegas has pumped all this money into building the team up. It's a wonderful article, and I encourage you to read it if you get the magazine. In Las Vegas, a city that has always ex embraced growth and excess, you can actually see the physical dollars being put behind the team. Here's Balenciaga, big, big fold-out ad. I've done, I've, I've featured this in other magazines with a large bag and the oversized suit. And that's the same bag with a chain handle. We have Vittoria Soretti coming, I think. This was all photographed during a remodel of a space that they will use in Paris, I'm pretty sure, but they chose to keep the construction in the background. There's Victoria Soretti again. I've looked all the up for other magazines. I didn't do it again this time. Here we have September. 2023, this was photographed again by Bridget, Bridget maybe, Niedermeyer. And there's Zendaya. This dress is from Dundasworld.com. 
laying out in the sun. I wonder when they shot this. There's Tiger laying there. And I'm pretty sure the front of this dress is um, full fabric. Couldn't find the exact dress. So remember from the table of contents, we saw that little inset of that coat. This is Michael Kors collection, the coat. It's $6,000. And the bra top is $864. Pumps, you can see the red bottoms. Are all, all the shoes Louboutin in this? I don't know. All the jewelry seems to be Bulgari. This would be another thing to read if you get the magazine. Parts of my life I accept they're going to be public. I can't not be a person and live my life and love the person I love. But also, I do have control over what I choose to share, but it would be hard. Look at the inside of that coat. And then what's he doing back there? I don't know. Her boyfriend is Tom Holland. Is that? Boy, it's sure sad that this building is going to close. I'm sorry that I even read that. So the dress is by Laquan Smith. It's pretty, isn't it? It's not much to it, but it's about $1,700. And again, the loop, are they the same shoe even? It's a beautiful shoe that goes with everything, doesn't it? Oh, Gary Jewelry again. I ride super hard for my team, especially for the people I love. Okay, now we're switching it up a little bit. There's still Louboutin, 845. The belted dress is by Sergio Hudson, $1,600. Bulgari jewelry again. And she's wearing Lancome makeup. They found some muscly, handsome guys for this, didn't they? This is by this dress. Oh, wow. So this is a black and white shot, and there's that pool with those lounges that those guys were on. Just one guy down there, though. Andreas Grant Haller for Vivian Westwood. The trench coat is by J.W. Anderson. So the same shot, but now in color. Isn't that wonderful? And you can see the different colors of everything. And then there's green cushions. So anyway... The trench coat, J.D. W. Anderson, 4,800, let's say. The bra, Simone Perel, I don't know. Oh, only 110. P-E-R-E-L-E. No, -E -E. Bulgari jewelry. I think it's Bulgari jewelry through the whole thing. She's moving the tire on that. The jumpsuit is Celine and the boots. So the jumpsuit's 3,700, the boots are 1850. I wonder if those are the same boots from the ad. But the bangles are Alexis Bittar. Some Bulgari jewelry again. And here she is moving that tire. I hope she's careful. I don't want her to get hurt. So anyway, the jacket and skirt, Alexander McQueen, red leather. The jacket, 7,500. The skirt's 4,500. Louboutin shoes. I would make those guys move the tire. Now that is that um, Ralph Lauren collection dress again. The one that's on sale. I'm pretty sure it's that uh, flocked denim. Very nice. 
Gallery Girl, a love story. We have two models here. Photographed by Cameron McCool. Styled by Alyssa Santisi. We're going to go through this beautiful young couple's little romance here. So it starts with a blank canvas. An artist and his gallerist embark on a carefree afternoon in Brooklyn, which leads to an impromptu elopement. A wardrobe of 70s-inspired classics adds to our whirlwind romance here. On our young lady, in all of these shots, we have all Gucci. Her name is Christine, and the young man is Julian. And he's wearing Prada. This is the shot from the beginning of the table of contents, isn't it? It's all Gucci, except for the jewelry. Sweater by Petar Petrov. Skirt by Chloe. The boots by Arceline. Louis Vuitton. I think it's that, isn't it? The waistcoat, I think it is. Uh, about a thousand dollars, and then this is all Gucci again on Julian with an E. Oh, that's a sexy shot. So on Christine, we have everything Miu Miu, everything except the Ray Manaz collection. And on him, we have Akas Lada jeans for $350. The boots by John Lobb with two Bs. Here comes the proposal, maybe. The blazer and the shirt are by Celine Holm. The trousers are Tom Book. And then he has on his same jewelry that he has had on. The whole shoot, shoes by church. And the cardigan is Brunello Cuccinelli, $5,500. The bra by Skims. The shorts by J.W. Anderson for $2,500. The earrings are at Manaz Collection Barbara Cartridge. This is all J.W. Anderson. She's just having a pensive moment there. And Christine. Oh, Mew Mew. No. What do we have here? Separate pictures. This is all Mew Mew. And I think we recognize the jacket and the shoes. This is another shot here of both of them. Well, we only see his feet. What are they up to? I don't know. In this bottom photo on Christine, with a K anyway, it's out on mass. makes any sense. This one might be a little easier. And it is. You want to know why? The trench coat, the tank, are by Fendi. The loafers are by Uwebe, and we can't see them. This must be post-nuptials. On Christine, the pumps are Prada. On Julian, we have again Celine Holm. The trousers are Tom Ford. The brooch is by Tiffany. So it looks like they got married. Were they making a painting? 
I should have read more about this. So Christine has blouse and trousers and scarf by Etro. And on Julian, Todd Snyder jacket. And then he has on some rings. Get the information for it too. I hope they're not already having regrets about their hasty matrimony. Christine is all in Prada. And again, he is in Celine, uh, Celine by Heidi Slimane. Trousers by Tom Ford. Shoes by Churches. Brooch by Tiffany. Here comes my cat. We knew this was coming, people, but what are you going to do? We're just going to roll with it because we're almost at the end. So this is Supermodel Anna Ewers in Easy Rider. Let's see what she's got on here. A lot of swimwear, as I remember it. Photographed by Cass Bird. Styled by Alex White. We just see her little, her little behind there. Let's see what we got. Oh, isn't she pretty? We have a Dior sweater. Here. $2,000. She's getting ready. She's putting her helmet on. Isabel Morant jacket. It's pretty. The hot pants are by Poster Girl. And the jewelry is um, John Hardy. What you can see of it anyway. The rings. I wonder where this was shot. Oh, she's getting ready. The vest, earrings, and necklace are all by Chanel. She found something to eat, my cat did. The t-shirt and shorts are by Free People. There's a little piece of her cat food over there. The jacket is by Chloe. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? The bra is by Fleur Dumont. And the panties by Cup again, C-U-P-P. That hat I recognize. That is a Burberry. It's about $1,400. I wonder if it's available. The bra, Fleur du Mal, I think made all the bras in this. And the panty by Cup again. It must have been warm wherever they were because she doesn't have much on. So the jacket, skirt. I buy Givenchy, and there it's expensive. The jacket six thousand dollars, and the uh, shirt twenty five at least. And then the bra and thong are by Fruity Booty. What is she doing here? Everything is by Celine here, the jacket. I don't know about the boots. It looks like she might have pulled on her boyfriend's boots. This jacket is $3,600. And here's the sexy shot. This vest is Montclair and Sale Bembury. $2,000. The bikini top and bottom are Monica Hansen Beachwear. The boots are by Max Mara. She's got quite a combination of things on there. The bodysuit is by Mugler, $1,300. The jacket at the waist is $4,000. And the shorts are Moschino, $1,600. The t-shirt is The Vampire's Wife, $177. Bra top, which we can kind of see. And the thong, Eliza Poppy. And the tights are by Wolford. The boots are by Gucci. Okay, she's in a camper, I think. Oh, she's icing her knee for a lot of these. A camper or a trailer. So the top and the boots are Max Mara. The tops. 610 and the boots are 1300. The bodysuit is by Skims. $58. 
So here we have some multi-generational style icons. We have Olive Richards and Lucy de la Feliz. And a little father being, um, well, who is the father? I knew this was Keith Richards' granddaughter, not his daughter. Lucy married Marlon Richards in 1994. I think they're still married. So the son of Keith, one of the sons of Keith Richards. Lucy was born in Wales. And she grew up on a sheep farm. She's 50 years old now. So here she is in a photo shoot with her model daughter, Keith Richards' granddaughter, Ella Richards. This is photographed by Brigitte Niedermeyer, a mayor again. Isn't that dress pretty? Dries Van Noten. Left on Ella Richard's top. And then it's this dress. It's very pretty. And then there's a Dries Van Noten too. It's not as expensive as I thought it would be, and I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is all Dior. About $1,200 for the dress, the earrings, and the clubs. This is Alexander McQueen. Oh, isn't that cool? The trench coat is fit. Oh, Fifty-eight hundred. The boots are nineteen hundred. The jewelry is by Van Cleef and Arpels. And then they interview them. So they are rock royalty. Oh, look at that skirt. On both the sweaters and pumps are by Prada. What's the skirt though? The skirts are Prada. Everything's Prada. Nowadays you can be pretty and have a voice too and have something on the side, says mom to daughter. Well, you're not going to be young forever, right? They are rock royalty though. Ms. Richards is 27 years old. She's a city girl, but not a wild child. She says, I've never really been one to go to clubs. Here they are in Balenciaga. Givenchy. It's a beautiful shoot. How did they do that with the different colors? Wonderful. Oh, look at the pink. And then they have a branch. This is Armani. And then we have like a uh, pink, pinkish red Dolce & Gabbana. Okay, green again. This is Chanel. The necklace by Cartier. Look at that. The flowers. Bottega Veneta. Lanvin. That's lovely with the calla lilies. And look at the roses. Paco Rabanne. That dress is $2,500. That's a statement. Look at the color. Next feature is night moves, and it's set in Paris. Paris is always a good idea, and so is sophisticated evening wear, complete with a hint of Eiffel Tower-worthy sparkle. This car is featured throughout the shoots, and there's our model. And she is wearing dress and tights by Alea for $690. The pumps are by Giovanni Rossi. The cape, 
the blazer, the bow tie shirt, the trousers, bracelets, boots, everything is by Celine in this photo. This, the dress is by Ferragamo, earrings and rings by Ellie Top. The dress is by Mazzoni here, and the earrings and the bracelets are by Hermes. You can see the horse, the hardware look to it. This dress is Giorgio Armani, and the rings and the ring are by Vernier, which was a very expensive jewelry when I looked it up. It was like over $100,000. The dress and the lingerie set and the earrings are all by Gucci. This jacket is by Sport Max and the earrings and the ring again by Vernier. Very good. She's got the car in front of her. The jacket is by Louis Vuitton for $9,100. Earrings by Mazzoni. And the belt by Kelly Watch Paris. Dress by Lueve. Rings by Vernier again. The jacket, the top, and the skirt, and the sunglasses all by Saint Laurent. The jacket's almost eight thousand dollars. The skirt's for forty four hundred. The scarf is. This dress is by Fendi, 7200 I think I've seen this dress before. It's Chanel. Well, the sweater and the skirt are by Chanel. The sweater is 4500 The skirt is 5100 And the earrings are also Chanel. Now, this is Body Shop. It's a little different. This was photographed by Scanda Bergs, styled by Patty Wilson. And I am just going to show you the pictures. I am not going to be able to pronounce a lot of the different designers that these are. This coat is Hunya Watanabe for $4,100. But the rest, it's very different. There are these, you will, you'll see. And look at the nails. Like, look at her nails. Isn't that different? There's a information there. How they've used these pieces of machinery and chains and engines. I'm about all the way up high on that. This jumpsuit is by Hermes. And the uh, belt and the boots are Alexander McLean. This dress is by Ferragamo. Her nails again. It's very different, isn't it? Very industrial looking. Chris Habana is the bra top, and the skirt is by Erno. The coat and top over here are by Chanel, and then they have the handlebar harness. The mask is by Chris Habana. Boots by Mugler. This is all Saint Laurent, is it not? Yes, it is. It's very futuristic looking, and then look at that. It reminds me of Austin Powers when the fembots come out. So this headlight bra is five hundred and seventy-five dollars if you want it. Rainy Lowry and Erica Hoffman design. Moto bodysuit by the same people. The boots by Mugler again. Are they all the same boot? Maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, she's got a hammer in her hand. So this, the overall is by Sport Max for $2,900. And the crown by Chris Habana. Again. Jewelry by Cartier. The donut puffer is what they're calling that. And the skirt, but pretty much everything, is by Rick Owens. The earrings by Tiffany. And then this is all by Griffin. G R Y P H Y N. The mask, the dress, everything. Here's our young couple that eloped at Tro on her, the blouse and trousers. And then Todd Snyder the, uh, is the jacket. And then the different jewelry. Here's the list of things to buy. That laser cap for people that have either no hair or thinning hair. I always wonder if that works. But they have various offerings. These boots look nice. Makeup, cleansers, something for cold sores. Continuation of our articles about the WNBA and the, the trad wife life. Oh, it ends in kind of a tragedy. This lady's dog died. And uh, I hope she just called the whole thing off of uh, having to do these experiments. There's a Hellman's ad with that yummy sandwich. I'll always put the food ad at the very end. Here's a Van Cleef and Arpel zipper necklace. I found a zipper necklace kind of like this. Kind of. It had a really large pendant here that was probably removable. But the one that I found was like over $4 million. And here are these cute boots by Remonte by Elle. These are reasonably priced and they seem quite well made. And then a Louis Vuitton ad. Remember, we saw this uh, little um, waistcoat on one of the models in here. That was part of their fall campaign. And we made it to the, where we're flipping the magazine over. We're all done. Thank you for watching my video today. See you next time. Bye.